the gospel of Jesus Christ. The difference between saved and lost. It is written. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. John 3, 5 through 7. If you have not been born again of the water, being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you have not been born again of the Spirit, being baptized with the Holy Ghost, speaking with new tongues, then you are not saved. Some folks have received the Holy Ghost, speaking with new tongues, but they have not been buried in water baptism. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They ain't saved. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answer Peter. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Acts. 10, 46 through 48. Some folks have been buried in water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but they have not received the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues. They ain't saved. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost, for as yet he was fallen upon none of them. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. Acts 8, 15, 17. You must be born again. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. John 3 and 5. When the soul is saved, they confess and forsake their sins. That's how they get the mercy necessary for salvation. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Proverbs 28:13. If folks don't forsake their sins, then that ain't repentance. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Revelation 2.21 When there is no repentance, there is no mercy. All that soul can look forward to is perishing. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 13.3 when folks are still captive at the devil's will, that ain't saved. That's sin. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. 2 Timothy 2.26 Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Leviticus 18.22 Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ain't saved. That's sin. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Mark 10, 6 through 9. Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
God ain't safe. That's sin. Whoso pulleth away his wife and marry another committed adultery. And whoso married her that is put away from her husband committed adultery. Luke 16, 18. Folks, going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ, that ain't safe. That's sin. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus, Esau despised his birthright. Genesis 25, 34. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Isaiah 29, 16. Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ain't safe. That's sin. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint, announce, and coming, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not leave the other undone. Matthew 23, 23. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, where have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Malachi 3, 8 and 9. Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ain't safe. That's sin. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image. Neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26, 1. Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus. That ain't safe. That's sin. He said unto him, which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Matthew 19, 18. Having eyes full of adultery, and they cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls of heart that are exercised with covetous practice. Curse children. 2 Peter 2, 14. Folks going against the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ain't safe. That's sin. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain. From his corner. Come ye, say they. I will fetch wine. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Isaiah 56, 11 and 12. Ain't no such thing as slaying in the spirit. Slaying in the spirit ain't nowhere in the authorized Holy Bible. Only devils fall out backwards when Jesus Christ shows up. Folks got the wrong spirit in God's house. They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he. They went backward and fell to the ground. John 18, 5 and 6. That ain't God. Stop that. Folks got the wrong spirit falling back. What's wrong with you? Ain't no such thing as foaming at the mouth for God. Only devils foam at the mouth. Folks got the wrong spirit in God's house. And they brought him unto him 
And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground, and waddled, foaming. Mark 9.20. Stop that. Folks got the wrong spirit. That ain't new tongue. Ain't no such thing as slain in the Holy Ghost. Half the church done fell out backwards, laying like they in an infirmity roar. The Holy Ghost ain't out of control. Then once folks get up, they fighting over who cooked what in the kitchen. Stop that. Folks got the wrong spirit. The Holy Ghost does everything decent and in order. The Holy Ghost don't have you out of control. Saints willingly lift their hands to worship the Lord. Saints willingly invite Jesus Christ in to speak for them. Saints worship the Lord falling on their knees forward, down on their knees, willingly. Not falling backwards out of control. That's out of order. Wherefore, brethren, come to prophesy, and forbid it not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. 1 Corinthians 14, 39 and 40. The Holy Ghost does everything decent and in order. When you are speaking in tongues, you are speaking another language, a heavenly language with the Father that speaks in heaven. You ain't spitting, foaming at the mouth and chanting. Lord have mercy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. How be it? In the spirit he speaketh mysteries. 1 Corinthians 14 2. By the grace of God, Brother Carl speaks in tongues more than most saints still alive. Because I got the Holy Ghost. Truly, I am filled with the power of the Spirit of God and of judgment and of might to teach and preach the living gospel of God. But you ain't going to see Brother Carl foaming at the mouth, falling backwards on the floor. Then after all that, they can't even speak to saints in English in the church. Folks laying on the floor through the whole preaching. Then get up with a grudge. That ain't God. You ain't going to find that nowhere in the authorized Holy Bible. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians 2.11 This is when the carnal folks chime in that want to fall backwards in their churches and want to have folks foaming at the mouth in their churches. This is what they chime in and say. God can work any way he wants to. He sure can. He could have made heaven and earth in six seconds instead of six days, but he didn't. And we know this because of the Holy Scriptures. That's why we know that foaming at the mouth and falling on the ground backwards, walling ain't from God. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which have a dumb spirit. Mark 9, 17. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and waddled for me. Mark 9, 20. And come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations. Is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 17 and 11. That ain't saved. And such like these they do that ain't saved. That's sin. As the scriptures say, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. 
But when you are saved, you continue in Jesus Christ's words, and Jesus Christ makes you free. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. Free from what? Free from sin. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that former doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin. Ye became the servants of righteousness. Romans 6, 17 and 18. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1.4 Saved means delivered. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Joel 2.32 And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2.21 the name of the Lord is called in water baptism. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Galatians 3.17 The name of the Lord Jesus is called asking for the Holy Ghost. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Galatians 3.17 The name of Jesus Christ is salvation. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at not of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4, 10 through 12. In the power of Jesus Christ's name, you suffer in the flesh, denying yourself, and cease from sin. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. 1 Peter 4 1. Say, folks, have the blood of Jesus Christ in water baptism. 1 John 5, 6. The Spirit of Christ living in us through Holy Ghost baptism. Colossians 1, 27. Power over all power of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Luke 10, 19. That's how we came out of our sins and left them alone. 1 John 3, 9. That's the difference. Say, folks, Sins have been remitted. John 20, 23. We are full of the Holy Ghost. Acts 11, 24. And we are in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 18, 20. Proverbs 18, 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The Lord have a form of godliness, but God don't know them. And then will I profess unto them, 
I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Matthew 7, 23. Somebody got to tell you. I'm begging you to repent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen.